Okay, just got back from the sweat shack, which is why I look like this. My hair is disgusting. But this is just like a really random vlog. Um, sweat shack is on here. Some things about workouts, kind of like how I do it, um, like day in the life. And then um, just some like things for 2022. So hope you like it. Okay, so I'm getting the kids. Lunch is finished up. And then I'm going to take my little shot that I take every morning. And then... I bring one of these bars on my way to the kids' school, and that's like my breakfast before I go on my run. So I just finished kid drop-off, and then now I'm going to go on a run because I already worked this morning, and so I got to a good place, and then my boss usually calls me in 30 minutes, so I run for 30 minutes after I drop the kids off. It takes about three miles, 30 minutes. And then he calls me like right when I'm done. So it's like perfect for me because if I don't do it in the morning, I will not stop and go out and work out. So plus it just makes me feel really good. So it like kind of like starts my day in like the right direction. All right. Holy cow. Um, I didn't get to run last week because my kids were sick. So <sighs> I only did two miles right now, but I sprinted a lot of it just to try to like get myself back to where I was. Um, but one tip I had that I was thinking of when I was running is um, try to find a place to work out like near your house because, or like near your office if you go to the office because um, it makes it so much easier for me knowing that like I don't have to like spend a bunch of time driving. Um, I can't run in my neighborhood because it's like super hilly, but um, I do have a place nearby that I have like fell in love with, found a bunch of like running routes so I can switch it up so it's not always the same. And then um, we also have a stationary bike in our bedroom that I use sometimes. Haven't used it in a while just because I really love to run. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like my tip. Whew. So yeah, I got done early, which is great. So now um, I'm gonna grab a green juice and then I'm gonna go home. My boss will probably call me and then um, I'll just work the rest of the day until I have to pick the kids up from school. so I've been juicing every day and I just bought more ingredients to juice this week but um, there's just nothing quite like a juice when someone makes it for you. I just went on a run for the first time since before the holidays and that's why my hair is a mess because I actually wore a beanie. It was really cold this morning. It's been not only the holidays with my kids being home but it's been like super cold here and rainy so getting out has been like really hard. I made myself today because it's sunny. <laughs> tomorrow it's supposed to rain again so I'll probably try to do like our stationary bike but it's funny because everyone always says like once you do it, it feels amazing and it's so true I did not want to do that but like the more I get into my routine the more that I'll be like motivated to do it more and more so I have to just start and my motivational tip is get back in the routine because then once you're in the routine you'll just want to do it hardest part is definitely like the first couple days Today was rough, but it feels amazing. And then I treat myself to a green juice anytime that I'm just like not wanting to do it. And I do it because it's just like another reason to do it. Cause I know I have like a little re reward at the end. Anyways, now I gotta go get ready cause I look like this. <laughs> shack um so i'm all red um it's literally so amazing so you're in there for 35 minutes and I leave my phone out and i just kind of like meditate or like just brainstorm for different things um but one very very important thing that i sometimes forget but i didn't forget to today always wear sweatpants because otherwise you cannot get your pants on when you're done it's like literally 48 degrees outside rainy and i'm like this because i'm so hot <laughs> but it was amazing and I did the blue light which is for like clear skin 
obviously I don't have any makeup on right now, um, but you could do different light therapies like immunity and different things. So I love it. I try to do like once a month in 2022. Okay, um, some 2020 goals, 2022 goals. Um, first one is I started doing like this influencing thing back in 2020 and I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with it. I just kind of wanted to find something that, um, kind of like a hobby. Um, and I found like, I don't know, a lot of fun things in doing it. So I love doing my blog. I love doing the vlog. I love doing, um, hair tutorials. I love working with brands. So it's just been like so much fun. So one goal is to monetize my Instagram, TikTok, social stuff more and really focus on um, my blog kind of being like the hub of it. Goal number two um, are some family goals. We just want to really um, travel a little bit more with the kids, um, go out to dinner more. We're very much like eat dinner at home, that type of thing. So we just kind of want to do like more outings with the kids this year. Um, just because we usually lay low when we have time off. So, and I'm constantly trying to make my blog look better. So I don't know, maybe take some graphic design classes or something. I could easily just get like a graphic designer, but I just find it to be so much fun to learn on my own, which is also why I like the vlogging thing because this takes a lot of editing. Another thing, last year I did a 5K and this year I want to do a 10K. So last, the 5K is, 3.1 miles and the 10k is 6.2 so that's another goal so i really need to get going because i've been slacking i think i've been pretty good this year about taking time for myself that was something that i lacked in 2020 and so 2021 i really wanted to make sure that i was doing things for myself and i definitely achieved that so i'm going to keep that going because i've never felt better mentally so take time for yourself so yeah closing out the year really happy and excited for the new year.